have been bullied as a child. I want parents to know about this in order to keep your children safe, keep your kids safe wherever they are. The mental health of your children is one thing you should really protect at all if costs. A parent or maybe soon to be mom or anybody try to pay close attention to this video because I am honestly telling you that this topic is something really important and a very serious topic that you need to handle as fast as possible because this is what the young ones face every day in the society and maybe are not telling you. Many people believe bullying comes from physical abusing, gossiping, talking down on you or your physical attributes of their race and religion. Not all bullying are the same. Most children face this in their school. They face this every day on the street at home. If you are the kind of parents that have people taking care of your child, maybe nannies, house help, and all of that, you have to be watchful of the signs because children are basically or mainly bullied by verbal words. And this tends to make children very afraid to speak up. They are not going to tell you. And before you know it, it's going to eat them up and affect their growing up as child. So as a parent, you have to be closer to your child. You have to monitor their attitude. However, look out for the unusual things in your child's behavior, especially when you know how your child behaves, how lively your child is. Look out for this sign, especially when the child started becoming aggressive, you know, quiet, you know, lonely, sad, and all of that. Try to look out for these signs. It's to be able to help your child. A child can experience sexual bullying at any age. So parents should be very, very equipped and aware of the signs, especially when you have the female children. And one of the examples of this is sexual name calling. When your child is being called some kind of you know vulgar words sexually and all of that it gets to, it tends to affect I mean, I mean, their mind mentally this type of bullying is very very harmful it can really cause a lot of damage in the child's I'm mind just going to tell you something you know while growing up my mom is very very harsh on us and very very disciplined like i came from this family where you think that your parents are wicked because of they are not what letting. you want like a child like free yourself even i'm not even a child that as i then i was about i was around 18 plus but they still treat us i and my elder sister they treat us as if we are kidding other teenagers like us you know living their life expressing their self and enjoying their self in fact we'll be like why is our parents like this are you really sure they're the one that give birth to us why this hate and all of that as at them, we are seeing it as if they hate us and they don't want us to be happy like other children. They don't want us to be free like other people. You know, at some point, I came to tell my mom that, Mommy, I'm not a kid, though. I'm 18. And I know in Nigeria, once you're 18, you're an adult. You can do anything. But I'm promising you I'm not going to act anyhow or misbehave. And my mom will be like, I am still a child. She, she will even slap me. She will slap me on top of it. That was how difficult it was to us growing up. So honestly, you have to look out for this. You know, right now I'm sitting here making this video because I am making this video out of experience. And I'm also trying to enlighten parents, to educate parents to watch out for this harmful bullying effect on their children's life because it is going to affect them tomorrow. The trauma of being bullied as a child is something that you can never yeah. gain no matter what, even if they are mature, even if they are all grown up and all of that, it will still mess with their mind. So this is me telling you to be watchful of this, especially the sexual bullying of a child. It's really, really bad, honestly. And this particular one is very, very harmful to anybody, especially the female child. So look out for the signs in your child's behavior. Especially when you see them trying to make more friends outside, when you see them trying to take position, when you, when you see them trying to take charge of their life, like, this is my life, I want to be like this, I want to do this, I want to do that. Know that something of this nature is about messing up with their mind and how to be of help to them is to call them, sit them down, especially when they are, you know, of age, like when they are no more babies like when they're no more kids bring them to you discuss with them be a friend to them 
if i don't come with that mother figure so that they won't be scared to tell you anything just come to them as a friend as a best friend as somebody they should confide in as their sister as their age mate as their pair just bring yourself down bring yourself to the level whereby they'll be able to talk to you freely without being scared of what you will do to them okay and when you call them out to have this discussion make sure that you will not judge them do not judge Once them you try to judge them already they'll be scared to tell you the next time and they might not even tell you the truth they might not even tell you the rest of the things that is why mothers should be very closer to their female children especially because these genders they face a lot in the society they face a lot of humiliation a lot of on the street you will not understand this do not let this get into their mind do not let it mess them up do not let them to feel hurt by words do not let this mess up with their reasoning okay because the trauma is really difficult to heal so watch out for this and call them close bring them closer to you and be a best friend to them so if you have any question regarding this feel free to send me an email or and also leave your comment on the comment section below and i will take my time to reply you all love you